Child marriages affect girl child more than a boy. According to UNICEF, in Zimbabwe, one out of three girls is a victim. In 20 January 2016, the Zimbabwean Constitutional Court banned child marriages by stating 18 years is the minimum age of marriage. Men are believed to be culprits in child marriages. Culturally, they are decision makers and most girl child marriages are initiated by them. Concerning the Concord ruling, a man from Mubulawayo said this. So the lifting of the age from 16 to 18, I think, and I personally think that it gives us time to mature and also see life. So you see that um, if people are allowed to marry at the age of 18, they will get an exposure. They go to high school, a level, and they see that there are better chances of becoming someone in life. So lifting of the age from 16 to 18, I see it as a good thing that um, Zimbabwe has done. People in remote areas are believed to be affected by lack of information when it comes to human rights issues. However, rural-based men are aware of the constitutional rights concerning child marriages. One of the rural-based men said child marriages are robbing children of their social Comparing the two men from urban and rural areas, they are both well informed about child marriages. They are even aware of problems which are caused by child marriages. She gets into a marriage and then she has to be a mother, she has to be a girl, she has to be someone who is pursuing her own goals. So I think that will affect her expectation and the way she participates in everything. So child marriage is what it does, it cuts our future expectations because it gives us responsibilities that we are not due for. <laughs> However, they still need to educate girl child as it is said that they are to blame because of their promiscuous activities which lead to pregnancy and <laughs> Parents and guardians should know that marriage is not a solution when their young girls get pregnant. Education is a solution.